the devil can influence us on, on a number of different levels. And some of it has to do with our volition, with the will, our invitation to that. Um, sometimes we may just innocently uh, stumble upon something of darkness and, and, and sort of like um, the smell that comes from deep frying, you know, it kind of saturates in your clothes, it kind of stays there. It doesn't really get in your skin, it doesn't get in your body, but just kind of hangs around you. That first low level of, of the entrance uh, into the darkness and sometimes into the spirit world that is evil is what we call infestation. Infestation uh, can happen on two different levels, mainly in the area of physical things like homes. Homes can become infested with the spirit. It's sort of, like, again, like if you've been deep frying all day, you come in the house, you can still kind of smell it yeah. kind of hanging around. And then infestation also can happen in animals. Um, and then the next level, uh, sort of like that medium level, that entrance into the area of darkness comes with obsessions. Obsessions most often are handed down through the family tree. We use that word so commonly. We even have perfumes that are called obsession. Yeah. It almost makes it seem like it's an okay thing. Um, but in that medium level of entry into the area of darkness and evil, um, again, the demons don't penetrate the soul, don't penetrate the inner part of a person's being, um, but they come more uh, deeply attached. You know, we talk about obsessive compulsive behavior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it in terms of a psychological perspective. But there's also a very deeply spiritual perspective where there are actually obsessive demons that hang around you. It, it, it's sort of like you know, going to a frat party, people who are drunk and kind of like to hang around you, they kind of almost entice you to become drunk. Right. Well, these obsessive spirits can bring their obsessions and um, by hanging out with them, so to speak. In what, in what way, like in what particular way can they affect someone? Um, you can become obsessed with, um, when I was teaching high school, a, a person in your classroom. Right. You know, uh, a, a young girl attracted to a young guy and vice versa. So much so that that's all you can think about. Mm -hmm. You know, you think about him or her when you go to bed. You think about him or her when you're on the soccer field. You think about him or her in, in algebra in class. Mass. <laughs> yeah, in mass. It, it's like you can't get your mind off that. And that's the way those obsessive spirits are. Sort of like this little whirlwind around you. You, you. you begin not to see any further than what's in front of you. And that's where the obsessive spirits are. You, you can't get a balance of where you're at because... This is sort of like the whirlwind that's always around you. Again, those spirits don't necessarily penetrate the inner being, but they cause such a stir that you lose your perspective on everything else. You become so obsessed with whatever it is. Right. You could be obsessed about you know, alcohol. You could be obsessed with power. You could be obsessed with money. There are many different obsessive demons that can come to create this whirlwind that keeps you from seeing any further than that. And most of these spirits of, of, of obsession, they come in through our woundedness, right? Because yeah. they'll see right where we're wounded and they're like, that's where we're going to attack because right. that's where the stronghold takes place. Most times it seems like a quick fix. Right. You know, you're frustrated, you're angry, you feel like I have something to drink. So you become obsessed with alcohol. Anytime you feel like life is just getting overwhelming, you use that as a quick fix. And many times... Um, the, the, the spirit of obsession can, can move you in that way uh, to create an imbalance in your life. And then the high speed level, uh, as it were, of interacting with uh, the, the demonic is, is something that is more rare than common. Um, most times possessions occur within the womb uh, where uh, generational demons are invited into the womb of a child um, being formed within uh, her mother's womb or his mother's womb. And um, those are much more serious because it's no longer just sort of like the smell of, you know, the, the, uh, the deep frying in the house. It's no longer something just external where you have this whirlwind of demons around you, but there's actually a penetration and a saturation inside the very core of a person's being, mind, and heart. And those um, possessed demons are never uh, just in small numbers. They always come in large numbers.